Cole Pearson and his guys. A home and home that they won against Michigan State. 7-2 and 3-2 as the game is underway. The teams, you know who they are. We don't need to tell you what colors they are. They are traditional. I mentioned him on his last shift. This guy is just a hard hat, lunch pail, put the work boots on, go to work type player. And he can absolutely fly. Here comes Penn State back in the way. And Portillo had to make a big stop there on the right wing side. And he did. And they fire another puck on him. And he's going to freeze this early December of last year. Good transition by Penn State. And, and, sorry, a good turnover caused by Penn State. They grab the line on the rush, and they get the chance to drive wide. When you watch Penn State for the course of the season, this shows up over and over again as they're building. Good pressure in there by Tyler Paquette. Held in at the line. Wrist shot down low. Good low wrist shot there, and it pinballs out to Bortolo. Played ahead for Brisson, who dumps it in. I mean, the young guys are high-ended, yep. high picks in the whole bit. The older guys are the vets and the experience. And let's be honest, Dave, we've been around the game long enough. Really, in the last eight, ten years, the older teams have had that issue. And you know what? Penn State gets a lot of high-end guys in here, too. And they will have to contend with that if they keep moving along in their history. Here's Luke Hughes with a good low shot. Audio the save there with a right pad. First really good look at it here, in my opinion, from Michigan. Six, but yeah. if your right. bottom six aren't good, you're in a lot of trouble. Here comes Hughes. Good look through. And Audio with a good save. Audio is a quiet, calm goalie who hits his spots quickly. They're always that way, right? You've done the World Junior long enough. We've all watched enough World Hockey where those fins, man, they are patient. Good chance there for Holt. So that one stung the aforementioned Oscar Audio on the left side. Low chance there. Passage off, laid it off to Hughes. And anyone close to this Michigan program will tell you last year, Borlo was their best player. Right there on the doorstep was Brisson. That's something Dave and I talked about already with Brendan Brisson, Brandon Arado, who spent several years with the Detroit Red Wings. He is a specialist. He's a video guy. He watched every NHL goal for seven years. He said, you've got to develop more of your game. And there's another point as he was right in tight. Delayed penalty call here. It has the amount of weapons this unit has for Michigan. They almost have a third unit because they have to be careful again that line management see i learned a lot from you over the years penn state's good with that but as soon as that pass gets through the seam that's when things start to break down great job great steal by mcmenamin here comes connor mcmenamin good chance oh what a save an unbelievable stop from portillo to keep it scoreless in the world great opportunity great pickpocket here and penn state off to the races and the beauty of this is just the pursuit to the net by McEachern. Here's McMenamin with the shot, and it's a, to me, it's a shot more. It's like a pass off the pad. Yeah. This is not a great angle to score from. He puts it low off the far oh. pad. That's an intentional play, folks, to allow McEachern to go to the front of the net. Down the wall, they play it. Pass to Joff now. Back to Brisson. Now Bortolo. Brisson, one timer off the mark, off the pad there, the bottom of the pad of Oscar Audio. First power play of the game, the shorthanded opportunity for McEachern who was looking for his fifth in four games. Down to a dozen seconds to go with the power play. Out in front, audio focused. He seems sharp so far, Dave. Flips it around, says he wears number 13. His favorite player was Johnny Gaudreau when he was a kid. Wrist shot in from power, didn't miss by much. The gaps has been really good. I think that's why Michigan has been off sides on a mm -hmm. number of occasions. I really like Penn State, period. Good point. Here's Morgan, he scores! Duke set him up and he flipped it right by audio down low. And Michigan draws first blood. They lead it with 2.48 to go in the period. One, nothing Wolverines. That being said, the quick strike ability of Michigan on their forecheck takes over here with good stick on stick, which is what made the initial turnover happen. And then the Wolverines go to work. Good stick, the force to turnover. Duke goes low. What does Morgan do? Morgan plants himself in an area where his stick is open. Penn State gets caught puck watching a little bit. They're a little slow and reacting to the Michigan forecheck. Back to something we talked about earlier, Dave, those glue guys. He is certainly one of those guys. Started his college career. Because the defense was fronted. It's a really good, smart hockey IQ play. Good battle here between Copeland and Veneers. Copeland is we're inside of a minute to go in the period. Long shot, easily gloved down. And when it happened behind the net with a good stick on stick play, once again, Morgan jumps into an area that he knew he was going to be open. He's got that knack. Kenny Johnson kind of fanned on it over there. Now he tries to shovel off. Can't. Here's Brisson. Takes a look now. 
The Naples defending him nicely. The captain of Penn State out of Moscow, Pennsylvania. See, I might have put out a, a left-handed centerman and just tapped the head right to the right. front of the net. Yep. But then again, I'm standing here with you, and <laughs> guys won a couple hundred games in college hockey. So. That's right. So we will have 108 of carryover on the minor penalty on Penn State there. At 17-12, the only goal in this game. There are 68 seconds and counting remaining in the minor penalty that Ryan Kerwan took late in the period. In the offensive zone. Yep, took him about 15 to get inside of the zone. Here's a shot, and that one hit the iron. Duke was in front screening as McMenamin trying to get it past power, but could not. Now Owen Power, one-timer coming, they score! An absolute rocket! Matty Benier smoked it in, and Michigan leads it 2 nothing. Scored on during a momentum shift time of the period, and here it is early, and what a laser beam by Benier's all with good work by Johnson, who started it on the left wing side. They moved the station to station here, but it was such a clean look for Benier's, and you couldn't have put it any better oh. by Power. It's good attempt at block. On the back end by Johnson, that earned Michigan the goal. And how about the agility in front from Dylan Duke? Jumping out of the way, Van Wy back in front. Beecher with a chance right down the slot. He came buzzing. Hughes, Johnny Beecher is a big rig, as you would say, Dave. Oh, absolutely. And he goes to the front of the net real quick on a nice pass. Here's Borlo cranking it up the other way now. Good stick there, knocking that puck down by the freshman we talked about in the opening period. Now Penn State comes back, they got a chance, good shot there, and a good save by Portillo. Kerwan got two whacks at it there, and two good. Freeze it. So you get the turnover in the neutral zone, and, and, or in the defensive zone, Penn State goes through it. Now watch, instead of attacking two players on the same side, look at the cross. So what does that cross do? By Kerwin going from his right to his left, it makes the defenseman sag in his gap, because now he's got to play a two-on-one. Of Michigan, his dad, Sebastian Porter, yeah. former NHL and his player development for Nashville. Here's Granowitz now. Carries in one against one. Granowitz lost it. Phillips will gather his footing here. Karen at the line. Punched down by Oscar Audio. Lambert first to it. Can he chip it through? No. Paquette went down to the ice. No penalty call. At the line. Driven in. Good low shot there. Didn't miss by much from Phillips. Van Wye had a couple of opportunities two weeks ago. Giveaway here. Out in front. Portillo with a stop. And it's loose, and he covers it up. Oh, what a stop by Portillo again with 102 to go. At the front of the net, and Portillo boys, he's been good. Yep. Bad turnover by Michigan, and look how many white sweaters get to the front of the net. What a great box out in front of the net by the Michigan defense. From a forward position to take a defensive position, and he boxed out and saved the goal. Under a minute to go now in the minor penalty to Granowitz. Puck on top of the paint again, and Portillo once again. Holds on to the puck a little extra second. Remember, he's on his wing here, so he's not in as good an angle as he would be on his off wing. Got to make sure you watch for the lane and get the puck off quick. Dow Jr. loads up. Portillo took a look, and Dow Jr. with a good look is Eric Portillo once again on his backside. And but I think Portillo being able to anticipate the shot got out to a really good spot where he can just swallow it. Nine seconds here, the Penn State power play. They get it out in front again. Paquette there, and he got a whack at it. But Michigan will send it down the sheet. And I think he's going to make an impact in that area. Here's McMenamin on the feed from Wall. Lays it back. Portillo, good stick there, and negate the opportunity for Wall. They throw it in front again. Copeland's there. And Eric Portillo continues to gobble pucks. Coming up on nine to play here in the period. Shots are 17-10 Penn State. If they're down by a pair here on home ice, they throw that one towards Portillo. Another chance from the left circle. And the freshman there got a penalty coming up here. The back referee is going to make the call. Michigan battles on. Coming up on half a minute to go in the man advantage. Hughes. Borlo. Off the pipe. Had him beat up top, and he hit the pipe about a foot down. Penn State needed that. Bordalo first, he clangs one. 20 to go on the man advantage. Sam Iskevich in tight, and he cannot get it by. Audio came up with that puck. Steps in and gets a little bit of room, and this is a Penn State defensive core that was oh. absolutely out of gas. Michigan controlled the puck for the entire power play for the most part, and these guys were... Re Remains 2-0 Michigan. Holtz snapped the shot, deflected wide. 
Went off the stick of Lambert. Tough one to handle on the backhand. Lambert to Hughes, able to get it across. Summers takes a look now. Good look at it. Punched away by Oscar Audio. Audio swats it up the near side. Loose puck now. Lampa comes in with it, makes a move, tries to drive in. Rebound. They score. Copeland finished it. And Penn State has made it a one shot game. Kicked it in. Right. This was something out of nothing. Michigan got caught with their eyes up ice on a change and off to the races goes Penn State and Lampa with a little dipsy doodle to drive the net and make something happen. Ooh. And that's where they're going to take a look at the goal. Lampa comes in, gets inside position, gets a really nice stop. And the question is whether or not oh. there was a, a kick of the puck into the net. I don't think so. that's got to stand. This was nothing more than Copeland putting the brakes on. Yep. I agree, Dave. Even, even on that one, to do something, I think it's a goal. The crowd will tell you. And a huge goal. The Naples, who came into this game, Dave, a plus 44. He was a plus 31 as a freshman. What a start and what a career he's had. One time rip coming, and they score. Beecher let it go, may have been tipped, but Michigan says, we'll take your one goal, and there is our response. Here's Beecher, 17 in blue. Moves himself in open ice, gets himself set right on the dot, and as he's fading, fires it. It's probably one that Audio will want back. Good quick release, doesn't hit anything, beats Audio to the net. Audio. Lamper, forcing the turnover. Sarlo didn't miss by much. We had a great vantage point of that. That was off by about six inches. The late call coming here. Portillo had to be ready for that one off the shot from McEachran. And there is a penalty coming up here, a trip. Yeah, you look at that 3-0 goal against Michigan State on Saturday night. I mean, yeah. he made a lot of that play happen just with good stick skills, good positioning, and, and good drive and determination down low. Sent around by the freshman D out of Brockville, Ontario, Simon Mack. And Berger gets it down low. Paquette in tight. Portillo right up against that goal post. Dying seconds in the minor penalty to Edwards. Early on here in this third period, Michigan on top, 3-1. Paquette charges in, gets around. Hughes right in. Portillo there, and he made the stop. Off of the crease, set, and he uses his athletic ability. Here comes the putt on net drives, especially when a player is coming in on his off wing. Here's a lead feed. Passage off for the chance there, and Audio makes the stop. It's like I said, I don't know how goalies shoot with these gloves today. Chance in front here. Goes wide. The big catch gloves. They don't close the way the ones that we used to use in the 80s do. Here's Hughes now. He weaves in audio with a flash of leather. And Luke Hughes immediately took his stick, put it over his head in disgust. However, your glove is used to catch pucks, and that's something that audio does real. Oh, what a play by Hughes. Gorgeous play. Look where audio. Now Sam Miscavich carries through center and crossed the line. Good low shot there on the blocker side. Didn't miss by much. Owen who? Kidding. <laughs> His partner hit for the second straight weekend. Laid back. Here's Owen Power. Snap the shot. Audio made the stop. Fought that one off of the trapper. And it slides back through center. And Beecher. Good job to shield off the defender there. That was McMenamin. Now Beecher. Drops it back, Van Wy takes a look and he scores. He ripped it in down low and he takes a bow. Garrett Van Wy with a hard low shot. Michigan leads it 4 1. Of Penn State and out they went. And here comes the rush. Beecher grabs the line, he's got space. Van Wy uses the defenseman as a screen. Snaps it past audio. Van Wy is on his off wing. Look at him use the defenseman as a little bit of a screen late reaction. And he's able to bury it through as Johnson gets caught. Garrett Van Wy, Dave, is tutored by a name certainly well known in the hockey circles. John LaFontaine was a guy that he told us really helped him develop his game at a young age in the junior ranks. Steered him in that direction, but obviously his allegiance has changed. Here's a chance for Morgan. Audio the save. And of course, I reminded him that he missed two breakaways in the last game I did here on the network against Wisconsin. 
We are here at the Pagula Ice Arena alongside Dave Starman. My name is Ben Holden. All of our crew is Michigan has put it to a 4-1 game. Copeland draws the penalty as Truscott took him down. And that's going to lead to a Penn State power play. Has to pull down Copeland. And if you're looking at this, you're saying to yourself... Now he drifts in again, and Portillo right there. And again, Dave, you've said it more than once. He has kept everything in front of him. Or Lampa behind the net, taken away by Luke Hughes. Sam Escavich, he drew a penalty. And I believe that penalty is going to be on Penn State right in front. It's going to be called on Ryan Kerwan as he got his stick up high here with 6.23 left. Owen Power. And Johnson back to power. Here's Beneers. Goal line, Duke. Backdoor look, and audio comes up with a stop. And Lambert looked to the Raptors. Michigan with a really nice job moving the puck around as they've done all night. And you think you got a wounded duck in front, which you did, in terms of the player being down. And that's Phil. Lambert chopped it out of there. Duke and Johnson. A little bang of the stick. Beaver tapped there from Power. He wanted it, but Johnson doesn't give it to him. Now Power fakes it. Snapshot score! Beneers, another rocket. So three straight games for Manny Beneers, and he scored two. And all three of them, Michigan on top, 5-1. Center Portillo kept that puck moving. It all led to this as the end payoff. Beneers right on the dot. I, that is just a lethal release. Look how much pressure, look how much torque he gets on it. Hands out in front of his body, look at the oh. torque he gets on that stick. We're talking to Brandon Arado this yeah. morning about it, about get your hands out in front, get your elbow out high. Two on his birthday last Friday. And two at Monty, here comes Van Why Speaking of two, he's looking for his second. Bringing the heat is Kenny Johnson there on Sam Escavich. He's gonna be feeling that. Here's Beecher. Fanned on it, audio covers it. Billowitz will go back and play. Off the wall, off the center. Carried in, wall back, and a shot saved by Portillo. Another chance there. Missing the net was Berger. McMenamin denied the first time. And Portillo, like a second baseman with a catch there with a trapper. Of James Van Riemsdyk and the way he shoots the puck. 225 left in this one. Michigan on their way to a win here. The final outcome is the only thing to be determined. They're up four. Probably more than we should have to. Yeah. This is another one of those games. Like he gave them every opportunity to find their legs and win this game. Sure has. And he makes another stop right on cue. An easy one there off the stick of Grat. Who opened the scoring back late in the opening period on a setup by Dylan Duke. Portolo with a low shot that is gloved by Oscar Audio. And it's going to end in a Michigan victory. As they went at 5-1, Johnson's going after Beecher there.